Hello and welcome to Level Design Academy. This is practice session five. Here you'll see me start working with brush entities and clip brushes, so basically funk illusionaries and funk walls. Lasts about an hour, and this is the first session after the previous tutorial session. So, hope you find it useful. Okay, so hello and welcome to Level Design Academy. I'm Philip and I'm going to be practicing today. Now, the last session that I did with Don, who's my tutor, was on clip brushes and brush entities. And unfortunately, I had to cut it short, so we didn't finish everything. But the first thing I'm going to do uh, now is I'm going to review the... Uh, um, the session. Sorry, I just realized that I haven't got my glasses, so I'll have to get those in a minute. All right, so the first questions from last time, which we, we talked about, becoming familiar with clip brushes and understanding basic brush entities. So it's good for me to sort of tell you, because then it helps me remember. A clip brush is basically an invisible wall that stops the player from passing. But you can't use it for blocking leaks. That's what I remember. And brush entities are things that move or do something interesting. Right, so uh, clip brushes used to physically block the player, but they don't block projectiles. Okay, so bullets go through. Um, in that case, I have to use um, a brush entity, which I think is a funk wall. Or is it a funk illusionary? Okay, we'll, we'll figure that out in a minute. Uh, simply brushes with the clip checker on all faces. So if it doesn't have it on all faces, then it doesn't work, right? Okay, that's good. Um, you use it to block the player from getting somewhere, okay? Uh, okay, there we go. In combination with a funk, funk illusionary, uh, creates a fence or a railing that blocks the player, which is what we'll be doing, like my second practice, on my main... Um, project that I'm working on, the radiation area. Um, okay, and it smooths out architecture so the player doesn't get stuck. Okay, all right, well that all makes sense. So far so good. All right, now, signals the sky brushes for outdoor maps, otherwise the player can swim in them. Yeah, okay, so that's really not a problem for me at the moment because we haven't created any sky areas. Everything's been inside and reduces the clip nodes. Okay, I don't really know what that is yet, but I know that it does that and fine okay so it does that all right now brush entities they can have a special pro property and they can be or they can be interacted with hmm, i wonder if that's an and or okay so they, they're doors pushables rotating that sort of stuff swings trams so those are brush entities and can be interacted with so buttons and health chargers and some breakable things right okay good Brushes have some special properties, so they can be see-through. They can be masked, which is like the fence. That's that, that blue thing. Okay, invisible triggers, also used for map optimization. Roger. They can only have one function, so you can't do two things. So it can't move and be breakable. So you have to use um, tricks to get around those things. They cannot be used to seal the void. Okay, so... Does that mean that clip brushes can't be used to seal the voids? You have to use normal, yeah, I suppose so. Is norm, is a, a, a normal world brush a clip brush? All right, we'll figure that out. Oh, so, so these are the brush entities that don't move. Okay, so things that are breakable, but you can have things that are breakable and move. Can't you? Can't you push crates and break them? Mm, okay, maybe not. All right, rechargers, health buttons, stuff like that. Okay, so the illusionary, fine. Um, okay, so we've, we've done this. We created a, a thing that we broke. Yep, that wasn't too hard. We had to tie it to an entity. We're going to have to do that again a few more times. And then the funk wall, like we were talking about the funk soul brother. It was quite funny. Uh, unbreakable glass. Unbreakable glass. That's important, all right? And this is the last exercise we did, which if I switch to it now, this is this is it. This is sort of the area that we built very quickly to get um, practice with that glass. Now, if I select it, and I zoom in here, just come down here. Okay, oops. All right, fine. So one of the things that was suggested last time was this, which was... Um, 
So we're talking about the angle of the, the glass, which we'll talk about in a moment maybe, um, just to make them look different. But the Mighty Atom suggested that um, I try to make the unbreakable glass with the Funk Breakable entity, just to see the difference. So I think I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one and I'm going to have to remember how to do this. If I right click and if I tie it to an entity, yeah, a new entity will be created. All right. Okay, so do I want to just delete that and then just create something new? Is that what I want to do? Not really sure. Okay, let's undo that. And if I tie it to an entity, Add the selected to the existing, and if no, a new entity will be created. Yeah, I do. So what have I done now? Have I, have I like, doubled up or something? All right, so this is the problem about not practicing. You've just got to practice a lot. So what I need to do is I need to create something. Let me just create another one of those. Let's, let's open up my grid size. Um... What the heck's happening here? Why can't I make a... Okay, there we go. Alright, so we want that too wide. I'm making it um, two because it's easier for me to work with. Now, I create it and then I right click on it. No, I don't. I select it first. No, I don't. Oh my god, this is terrible. I right click it and then I tie to entity. Alright, now I make it. I don't. I, here I want to make it uh, a funk breakable, don't I? That's what we're trying to do. Funk breakable. Now, the flags. No, the flags will be. Target on break, strength, material type, glass. So I like unbreakable glass. Okay. And then I just press enter. I mean, there's, there's nothing I need to, I don't need to edit for any group. Press a touch, instant crowbar. That's it, it's done. Is that what we think? Problem is that it doesn't have any texture. So I need to select it again and look for glass. Am I doing the right thing here? Glass. We'll, we'll use this one this time. And then I apply current texture. Oh, okay. So we have to do it again. And then apply. So where is it then? It's not here, is it? So, um, what's the problem? The problem is it's down here. That was a bit stupid, wasn't it? So I just have to move it up, don't I? Uh, it should be here now. Boom, there it is. All right, now if I just move that one out of the way, and I just move this one in its place. Boom, oh, it's too big though. Is that right? How am I doing? Yeah, it's outside the room. Yeah. I some. This is one of the problems that kind of when I when I do something from like the top view, I just assume it's going to be in the same sort of plane as most of the other stuff. Uh, how do you know where it's going to appear? I suppose you could say we'll look on the side, but all right, okay, fair enough. That's what you're going to say, isn't it? All right, so now it, it's it's different. Okay, we see that, no problem. What is it, it's, it's shift Q, yes. All right, so should we just save this as something else then? We'll just call it test map two. Okay, we save it. And then we have to compile it. And that's not doing anything. Okay, and while that's thinking, I'm going to load up um, Half Life because we want to change it in there, don't we? 
we'll get that going. Right. Okay, so that seems to have worked. Boom. All right, good. We've got that up there. Let's have a quick look here. How's that? All right, so. All right, so map, glass, test, two. They're underscores, aren't they? Right, so here we go. So we got this. Oh, look. I can't, I can't hear it very well, actually, but it's got a different sound, doesn't it? No, it hasn't. It's the same sound. Oh, but it's making that kind of pew pew like the bullet. This one doesn't make that sound. Mm. All right, so. So is is that the main difference then? All right, there we go. Is that simply that's the difference that uh, it makes the pew pew sound? I mean, obviously I can change the the um, the texture. I mean, if I if I make it one of those textures, if it's the same, then it should be just the same as the rest. No, it's not just the same as the rest. Oh, I want to browse it. I want this one. All right, now it's just the same as the rest. Yeah. All right. So somebody was talking about um, changing the angle just to make them look a little bit different. So, I mean, if I no, that's is that a rotation? Yeah, that's a rotation. What does that look like? Yeah, I don't know. I'm. Di it's an interesting one. Do you want to keep them all the same though, or do you want to change them? I mean, if if I had different ones, would I want them all different? I don't really know. Do they look silly or different? That's the sort of one of the questions. I don't know. All right. So another thing that we need to look at was the sort of the uh and what was it it was control t that brings up yeah that, that's that but what brings up the yeah there we go all right oh this is a funk wall now this was a funk breakable before wasn't it all right I'm getting confused now oh dear so when i tie to entity it keeps telling me this yeah yeah, yeah, okay, you have them all match. Okay. So if I do this, this is suddenly a. Oh, okay. Ah. Alright, now I'm confused. I'm, I'm obviously doing something wrong here. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to sort of see my entity selection, what it is. And I can't remember how to do that. I mean, I'm right-clicking on it. That doesn't do anything. And then Control T brings up this. You already have selected a funk entity. Would you like to add the selected solids to the existing? Yeah. So creating a new one will essentially. Yeah, but how do I? How do I? How do I edit the functions of an existing entity? That's what I'm. I'm sort of unclear about. I don't really know how I can edit, and I don't think. Um, Set the properties, make it a funk wall. Yep. Alright, so I don't really see how I go back to right click the properties. Yeah, I, when I right click on it, I don't get properties. Ah, okay. You can't do it in a 3D view. Okay, that makes sense. Can't do it in a 3D view. Well, it does make sense, but that's how it is, so fine. Alright, and then I've got this FX amount. And it's zero. All right. So what if I make that two hundred then? That doesn't. That doesn't. Sh Does that only show up when I, when I compile it? All right. So fine. 
let's assume it only does it when I compile it let's let's compile it again all right and then we're off no no we're not we're off and we do the same again we okay yeah so maybe I was facing the wrong way that time but or not no no that doesn't that hasn't made any difference has it become all right so now no only 2d views 3d views literally for viewing the map you can't edit with it all right I need to get that my head around it then so in this case I the properties and the amount now the amount so the higher the number the um, more transparent it is render mode normal texture but is it not is it not transparent already okay Higher is more opaque. Yeah, definitely an amount of just mucking about with this all the time, isn't it? Just, I don't know. Um, here, yeah. right. Again. Okay, so clearly we have a difference now. And this one was just completely opaque, wasn't it? I mean, that's just... It doesn't even look... But here you can't you can see through the others. All right. All right, so if I, uh, if I then go back and I put this one here, I right-click it, I go Properties, Render Mode, Texture, Amount, Higher... Higher is more opaque. All right then. So if I have it at say 50, that should be um, that should be pretty low. Fine. Right. Um, boring for you. Important for me. Yeah. Again. Right, okay. Yeah, okay, you can see that. I mean that said though that that turning of the oh, I put it in the wrong place, didn't I? It's kind of in the middle. Ah oh, no, there were two there. Ah oh, look, there's my there's one of my problems. Yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. So we're back to this. All right, what we've got is we've still got we still we still got this one here. I'm just going to stick that over there. That should make a difference. Now this one, I'm going to yeah, the texture. How do I how do I muck about with its texture? Align properties. How do I muck about with its texture now? Where's the the I, do I need to there? Okay. Seventeen. Today it's seventeen. Let's let's everybody seventeen. All do the seventeen. nine buddy you're minus nine or you're 17 now right good and then this one we're just gonna move out of the way here let's come out no sorry I'm just gonna stick over there right boom baby we're gonna go back in 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into my proper map and I'm going to see if I can um, make my um, walkway clear. So Oops. Right. There we go. Wow, 50 is almost useless, isn't it? Well, not useless, but you, you can't see that it's... I mean, it's on the other side there. Wall's too thick. But you really can't see it until it's there. Hmm. I think 50 is too low for me. All right. Okay. Get, feeling as though I'm, I'm getting a, a bit of, you know, a bit of a handle on it now. Yeah, why not? So we're back here. We're closing this. Yeah, why not? And then we're going to go back to this. This is the, 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 my radiation studios that we're working on. It's just sort of being built as we go along. Now I've got a, a thing here. Here it is. So what I want to do here is I want to control T. I want to make it an entity. I want to make it a funk illusionary. Is that right? It's a funk illusionary. Funk illusionary. No. Funk walls. Or not. No, I want to make it a funk illusionary. I'm going to need to put a clip brush in there, maybe. Um, afterwards to stop the player from walking through it but we're going to sort of experiment with that I've got the right texture uh, render mode needs to be do I need to have texture for render mode I'm going to leave it at that and we're going to fine fine it's tied to an entity now is it it's tied to an entity it's done do the same there Control T, tie it to an entity. Uh, no, I need to get in here. Right click, properties, render mode, normal. Hmm. Maybe I need to do texture for funk wall, for glass, anyway. All right, we'll see what happens. Let's save this one. Solid, solid, okay, solid, thanks. So, solid. Properties, function mode, solid. Okay. Trying to right click there again. An amount should be 255, right. So the amount here needs to be 255. Um, strange not having a save box there, not you know saving anything amount 255 what happens if I don't have it at 255 it doesn't work let me try 254 just to just to annoy somebody right so what we're doing now is we're calling this number 5 522 boom we're going to compile it um, I thought it was 22, but whatever. Need to close these boxes. Okay, so Don makes a good point about not testing stuff in um, in these kind of maps because each time it just takes ages to um, to compile. So here we go. We've got map. Oh, cracky! Can't even remember what it was called. Who remembers what it was called? LDA PS05. All right. Good. Um, LDA. Was it underscore? Sorry, peeps. A hyphen. I'm a hyphen man. LDA. Zero five. No. PS. Zero five. Twenty one. Right. Yeah. Look, we've got these invisible things. Yeah. But that looks shy now, doesn't it? Because it's not like not lined up. Okay, so here we go. So alright, so this one was 
four, four and the other one was 255. So, all right, so now, what? Okay, so now do I need, all right. Boom, see it's like, it's like stupid, isn't it? It's like too thick. All right, so well, that's a bit strange. Oh, look, see, we can walk through it. Yeah, you see, because we haven't put a clip brush in. There we go. Now we're, now we're getting there. Right, got to do it to understand it. So we're back here. So the next thing to talk about is why it's just an orange. Does that mean that, that I need to do something with the texture? Do I need to create a new one on top of it? And in addition, um, do I do I not want it so fat? Where is it? Maybe I don't want it so fat. So what happens if I make it skinny then? Where are we here? There we are. That's an annoying thing that happens a lot. You see, that's because it's snap on the grid. So would in, well, so in this case, would I just make it like one? Well, that's just gonna look stupid then, isn't it? One, who, who has one? Two? Well, either way, it's gotta be here, isn't it? And what's that? Why doesn't that fit anymore? So now there's a gap. So I have to move that over there, don't I? Okay, fine. Yep, yeah, got to change a nappy. Right, now is that lined up there? Yeah, it looks it. Right, Sue, 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 Sue. Moving around here is a pain. So now I need to muck about with this one. If I make it smaller, like that, it's not on the edge anymore. So what's that? That's that. So I bring it there. Wow. And what's that? That's the ramp. Right, okay. What's that? That's this. So I need to bring that here. Is that right? And then I need to bring that there. I need to get in closer here, don't I? Super close work. Okay. Good. That's three wide. So one of the things I don't really understand. Oh, I suppose I need to bring that to the edge there, don't I? Okay. One of the things I'm not really comfortable about yet is these kind of dimensions. Never really thought about them before. Until you, well, you don't until you build something, do you? All right, okay. So, how are we doing there? We're doing a lot for nothing. Now, notice that that one... All right, so I'm going to go back and um, make it 255 because it doesn't seem to have done any difference. Well, that was a fast chap, chappy change. Wow, well done. So here's the here's the question in my mind that um, I'm asking myself is sort of how wide do I need to make these kind of these barriers, and how do I put how do I put the right texture on it? Because now I want to I want to muck about with the texture tool. I've got this one. I don't understand how I can put a proper rail on it then. So if I put rail, yeah, you see, I've got these. Oh, do I want this one? Oh, is that like a dev texture then? So if I if I apply that, make it fit. Is is that gonna is that gonna be what I want? Does it look right? It sort of looks a bit too big. Okay, all right. Well, let's do the same with that one then. All 
Let's have a red one this time. I'm going to take the texture lock off just to have a look around, play around a bit. Now I've got a feeling that this is not really what I want, but does it sort of work the way both both the ways through? I mean that doesn't look very good there, does it? Oh wait, is that only on one side? Or it's done. Is it? Is it not done on the other side? I have to do it on the other side. Oh crikey, I didn't realise that. It's a bit annoying. Well, this is a red one, isn't it? And I do fit. Well, this texture stuff is just a pain. Hello, mate. This texture stuff is just a pain in the arse. And now do I need to do that surface? Holy schmoly. Really? I have to do that, sir? I have to do all of the surfaces? All right, well, this ain't fun. What's this? How do I make them bigger? I don't. That must be this one, I suppose. And if I fit it, oh, crikey, that doesn't. Okay, so now the texture lock is off. Wow, this is an absolute nightmare doing stuff like this, isn't it? You really have to get your head round. So the scale. Surely that would be better. All right, I'm going to compile this and see what happens here. We're going to save it. And it's 522. Fine. We're going to create a map. Boom. 525. What? Oh, sorry. I have to save it as 522. My mistake, sorry. All right, then the map. Oh, my God. She's just. And then we compile it. Yeah. Got a feeling that this is something that might be better done. Yeah, it is. It's fiddly. Better done in like sort of copy the map into a little area, make sure it works, and then copy it across. If you're having to make changes all of the time, is that something that people do? Right. So map LDA PS zero five twenty two. Right. Yeah. No, it worked. I mean, I'm still okay, and then this one worked too. But that was a horrible texture, isn't it? Quite really horrible. These textures, aren't they? So that doesn't look so good there. So I would have needed. I need to sort of scale that a little bit. Uh, am I, have I made them the wrong size or something? Okay. Okay, so I think what I need to do now is I need to let's get in and cl and uh, create these clip brushes and get that done. Close that for now. Um, or should I finish doing this? I need to. Uh, I need to. The scale. No. Shift it. Okay, so here's the key here. The key is if you're going to be mucking about with textures, make sure you can see all of it. Right. That's better. Yeah, that's too far. And that looks okay. Yeah, is that that's kind of what we're looking for? Yeah, we're looking for that, aren't we? That sort of makes it feel better. Right. And now we've got a space there, it looks like, doesn't it? Oh no, it's because we haven't done the end. We need to do the end. Wow, oh, my god, this is just. Try to get the X and Y scale the same so it doesn't look stretched. Okay, so the X and Y scale. Let me come back to that then. So I click on this. The scale is like. It's like. Yeah, okay, so that, he says.
I mean, if I make it a site, it's just going to be way too big. I mean, that just that doesn't make sense. What am I doing wrong? Put put the my the five on minus two. Put the five to two. So I do that and that. That didn't work. Okay, now that looks better. Okay, yeah. Okay, so everything to two, just I'll put everything at two. Yeah. Okay, good. And then I need to move it. Okay. Okay, yeah, so that looks much better. Uh, okay, so now we're screwed, you see, because this is just the wrong size. First you fit. Well, that's what I thought I did, but okay. Oops. Right. So now it looks like I'm going to have to change the what? No. I'm going to have to change the uh, X a little. Otherwise, it won't look like it's fitted. Does that make sense? Hello, simulation exterior and wazza! Yeah, hi. Um, see, I want low light solid things at the end, don't I? There we go. Right, so. Okay, we're getting close now, aren't we? I see what you mean about being fiddly. You see, that looks about right, doesn't it? There we go. Okay. Well, hello there. You do level design. I'm a novice at it. Well, I'm a complete novice. So what you're seeing here is me having a bit of a, a disaster with the textures. All right. Well, that looks better. It d does look better when the X and Y are the same, but clearly I'd have to change the width. But I suppose that's something that you do. Here's a question for all the mappers. Do you modify the size of your maps to m match your textures? Um, or do you modify the textures to fit your map? In this case, I've modified the textures to fit my map because I don't really want to have to move all those things across. But if I had to, I would. So that's the question. And now what I need to do is I need to put a texture on here. On, on there. So your map based on texture size. Yeah, you see, that makes, that makes sense. Um, so what I would have done here, here is I would have adjusted the width of my ramp um, to the texture width of that thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to make anything for Half-Life 2. I, I love Half-Life. I want to learn how to make Half-Life stuff. A bit like some people, you know, restore old steam engines and, you know, old kind of cars. I, I want to sort of do that. So now what I need to do is I need to find the texture this one I need to apply it and then I need to fit it but that doesn't work and then I need to sort of modify it somehow I suppose to make it what was that there is that is that kind of all I need does that make sense all right then so what we do now Oh, models, you... Oh, yeah, okay. All right, well. I don't know if I can... I can't use models in here, I don't think. Can I? Anyway, I need to uh, come out of here. Where am I? There I am. And I need to make a new... A new one. A new one of these. I suppose it has to be the same. Does it have to be the same? It would make sense to be the same, wouldn't it? Where is it? Finishes there. Get in close. Have a good look. That looks the same. Okay. We need the side view down there, don't we? Well, okay, I need to make my thing a bit larger.
Yeah, that looks the same. So now I, I just make it. No, don't need to do that. I, I do that. Yeah, I know it's the wrong texture. Oh, how am I going to know how to select it then? Oh crap. So which one is which, Neil? Okay, this is the wrong one. This is the right one, because it's got the right texture. No? No. Oh, I don't bloody know, Neil. Oh, this is a disaster. None of them have got the right texture. Oh, God. So all of that work, I'm going to undo it. Right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another one the same size next to it. Okay, so we learned something there, eh? Yeah. We learned something. Um, make it similar, but not the same. Okay, right. So is it the same? My God, I cannot believe that people still watch this. It must be so frustrating for you to watch an idiot like me do what I'm doing. Right, good. So now I I just make it. But why don't I clip? What happens if I type clip? Hmm. Confused. So here's my. So this is the this is what the clip brush texture looks like. Fine. So why can't I find it here then? Is that the clip? Is that the clip? Is that what the clip looks like? Clip. Okay. So if what happens if I if I apply that then apply where is it what happened to it what did I do wrong oh look at that I just learned something now when you press C it moves it in so what button brings it back out right. Interesting. Right, so the C. So it looks like it just disappeared. It didn't do anything. It didn't work. Oh, there it is. Enter. Right, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah, baby. Now it's on all faces. So I should just be able to. I'll do it in this view, I think. I should just be able to move it there. And that's it. And that should stop me from doing it. But now here's a question. Now it's a question. How am I going to know when I want to select it? How do I know which one to select? How? If it's like on top of it, how would you know? All right. Well, we don't know. We'll we'll just figure it out, don't we? So we save it. Yeah. We'll keep it the same. We'll export it. We'll keep that the same, hasn't been enough to change. We'll compile it. Ooh, that was quick. Why is that so quick compared to last time? And then we run it again. LDA PS0522. Right. No, did not work. Something went wrong. Oh, and I haven't done. I need to do the edge of that as well, don't I? And the top hasn't worked either. The top thing. And it didn't, it doesn't, it just doesn't work. And look, the edge doesn't look right. See? What the monkey's going on here? Crikey. Right. So. Hello, Coco Axe. I've got 15 minutes left before I need to leave. See, that's the clip brush. What went wrong? It's not compiled. It's not compiled. Roger that. Why didn't it compile? Oh, 
Okay, something went wrong. How do I know what went wrong? Something low. There was a problem compiling the map. Look at the log for cause. Well, I thought this was the log. It's telling me to look at it itself. Cancel that. I said cancel. So, I think maybe what I need to do, maybe it can't overlap. Is it? Is it because it can't overlap? So if I if I move it maybe, scroll up. Sorry, buddy. Deverage. <laughs> a leak. There's a leak. How can there be a leak in the map? <laughs> I haven't made any changes except internally. Son of a. Head crab, how can there be a leak in the map? No changes were made. Not funny. The only thing I've been mucking about with is this area here. How can there be a leak? What the hell is that? Maybe you moved something accidentally. You're right. You're right. In which case, that's just an absolute disaster. So, go to map at the top. Map at the top. Load point file. Yes. So, right. This is way out of my comfort zone. What? The monkey is all that. What the hell is all this? Oh my god! Got some graffiti artist going all, all over the place. What the heck? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make an executive decision. I'm going to close this one. I'm going to save it. I'm going to open that one. And this is why you save a lot, isn't it? Eh? Where are we? Danny End. Danny End. Danny End. Right, we need to go upstairs. Right. And if we have to, we do all of that again. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to compile it. We're going to save it to a map. We're going to call it 22B. B for bullshit. And then we're going to do that. Right, that seems to have... Right, boom. Fine. We know that that compiles. Yes. So... Let's save this as a 22B. Lucky I'm a saver. Lucky I'm a saver. Now, we have to go through that whole process again. We have to um, get in here. But we're learning while we're doing it. No, we don't want that. We want this. What we want here is we want two and we want two. All right, good. And then we want to shift it like that. Agreed? Yeah, but but we need this to be one point. Was it one point seven five? No, not seventy five. God damn it! One point seven five. Thank you. And we need to shift it a little bit. What are we doing here? See, yeah, that looks. You see, there we go. I think I've got a fantastic memory. Boom. Good. We need to then. We, you see, now the the top's done. Good. I think we have the top done, and now we need to do the 
edge. Oh, we need to close that. We need to select that. Browse. No, we don't want clip. What do we want here? We want rail. We do this. We we do this. What, 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 what was that? What's going on there? This. There we go. We apply it. Then we have to jiggery poker it, don't we? We just have to muck about with it until it looks like it's. Well, one of those do? Does that sort of look okay? Don't really know what happens if I fit it. Mm. That was a mistake. Is there like a button that unfits it? See, texture lock is off. I, I... All right. Well, we we don't want to muck about with the scale, do we? We just have to. Okay, well this is not good. This is what we need. All right, this is what we need. Wow, well, Half-Life. Yeah, mapping for Half-Life. There we go. That's what we want. Who's your daddy? Right. You've got ten minutes left. We've got to get this clip brush thing working. So, what we're going to do now is we are going to save it. Yeah, baby. We're going to... Yep. We're going to compile it. We're going to run it. The game. <laughs> you're right. Just to make sure that it's um, working. Um, if you're just joining me, bad luck. I'm about to leave in 10 minutes. Um, panic with my girlfriend's birthday present. So otherwise I'd like to be here for another 10 hours. Um, still practicing with this uh, textures and entities and things. So map, LDA, PS. 0522B. Give me what you got, baby. Right. And that looks absolutely shite. What the heck happened there? What went wrong? Oh, crikey. We're in a right 2 and 8 here, aren't we? That's anybody who doesn't live in London, that's um. Alright, so I've been mucking about with the wrong face, haven't I? Something went wrong with that face. 175 2 that's got to be 0 that's got to be 0 but that doesn't make sense at all it's the wrong it's the wrong texture it's got to be this one apply it now it works and then this was like 33 or something wasn't it no 7 or 8 that's it Seven. So, did all of them move then? I don't. Right. Okay. So, before we get mucking about into that, let's see if we can do a clip brush while we're while we're here. Um, right. We're saving. Yeah. Okay. Good. So now we need one of these. Yeah, I know that's huge, but um, what do I need? I need to go down a bit. There we go. Okay. That needs to come across here. I'm just going to put it there. That looks about right, isn't it? Yeah, it's not exactly the right size, but fine. I enter. It's got that shitty texture. I need to open that. I need to browse. I need to ask for clip. Oh wait, did I? I need to make it clip. Do I need to? What happened there? What did I do wrong? You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to move it up, so I know what I'm doing. Right. Oh, Pete, this must be so frustrating for you. What's the difference between these two then? That's 16 by 16? No, they're the same. So, I do this. Oh, just. I apply. Fine. Do I need to. You can always check out my channel when he's done. I make maps too. Oh, yeah, but you make good maps. Okay. Is that it? Don't need to do anything else. Is that now a? That should now be a 
clip brush. Now all I need to do is put it here, I suppose. Try using the middle one. We'll see what happens with this one. Save it. Export to map. Compile it. Because even though it's in in like the wrong place, it's still gonna stop me from walking. Right. Again, map. LDI PS zero five five twenty two B. Fingers crossed, peeps. Fingers crossed. Right. So that looks much better. The edge is okay. It's probably too thin. I probably need to make that fatter, don't you think? It just doesn't look like that. And hit and the top. Let's have a look. No, the top hasn't worked. So here's the test. Do I fall through? No, I don't. Yeah, baby, so that works now. And in fact, what happens if I crouch? Do I crouch? It's all the same name clip. So, um, if we, uh, good. So what we do is, to finish off, we go back and we just make it like that. That's all we need. Because it stops me. It doesn't have to be, you know, I suppose in many respects it could be, yeah, but... That would be enough, wouldn't it? That's all it needs. That makes sense. Right, so now we have to we have to get up here and we have to fix this texture on the top here because this texture was crappy. So how do I how do I do that? Oh uh, maybe Okay, do this. I need to I need to. I just want to do this face. Have I selected the other side? No. Maybe that's where I was going wrong. That's the face I want. Will it stop NPCs? Yeah, I th mm, it's a good question. It says that it blocks the player. It will. Okay, there we go. What do we do? We browse. We go for rail. Oh. oh, we broke it. What did I do? I broke it. Rail. Oh, good. No, rail. Rail. We choose this one. We apply. It didn't work. Or oh, did it work? And I didn't notice it. We apply. We. Okay. So we're doing something. I think it's working. Bear with me. There we go. Boom, baby. But I think it's this side is now this side looks ruined now. So I'll select this one. Oops, I don't want to do that. I want to browse. I want this. I want to apply, and then I want to, no, I want this one, this is hard work, hard work, I think I got plenty of ideas of how this could be of how this could be improved. Just trying to... Is that where I went wrong? Okay, that little yellow line's good. I like that little yellow line. Why don't I make it 45 degrees? No, why don't I make it 90 degrees? No, not 490. 90. And then... I'm trying to get like a solid edge. There it is. Well, that took a long time to get that working, didn't it? Now, we're going to move this out of the way because I think that my alignment again has gone wrong. Yeah, you see, what the hell is going on here? One, seven, five, uh, it needs to be seven. No, wait, it was seven before and now it's all screwed up. Why is it now three? is a disaster all of this just for 
Oh, Z, what the hell is that? Four. Right, minus four. Oh my gosh, that is just such a lot of work just to get that going. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that and I'm going to copy that. This is my rotate, isn't it? I'll keep the finger on the shift button and that does it. Boom. And then I'm going to move it. Get in it up here. Wow, so much attention to detail. Huh? What the heck? Oh, mistake. Is that all right? Wow. Let's have a look in here. Is it over the edge now? It's like in the wrong place. No, it looks okay. So that does that not need to come? I'm slowly getting a hang of this. Slowly getting the hang of it. Slowly. Yeah, it needs a bit more, doesn't it? It needs to be to here. All right, we're going to have a quick try to get the texture lined up. So I do that. pretty good and then down the end see this is this is what it's all about modding for yeah you do that oh son of a I'm sorry right and then you go down here Oh, well, that turned out quite good, but if I make that just like 1.74, will that make any difference? All right, okay, boom. Um, I'm closing that. Um, what do we need to do here? You need to move this. Um, You need to move that there. Fine. We need to shift and copy it. Boom. Press it again. We need to rotate it. Boom. We need to move it. Just on the outside, maybe. And then we need to click it again. No, where is it? Mm, there it is. Select good things. And then we need it to come to there. Right, we're saving this, save as 23. One day we will have a playable map. 23, boom, boom, shagalak. Right, run this and then I'm finished. And then I've got to buy a present. All of this, one hour just to put two little fences then stop players from going over. That's just unbelievable, isn't it? Of course, it probably would have taken somebody who's been doing it a long time, five minutes, but still, you can understand why some people sort of don't stick with these things. Right, here we go. So, we're much happier about that. That looks fairly good. The edge, no, there's a funny thing, there's a funny thing there, but that might be my fault anyway. So how does it look? All right, well, the length there looks pretty good. Okay, didn't. Okay, the edge is not so good. We need to do something about that. And here's the test. Can I run through it? No. All right. Yay. So does it look okay on the edges? It looks okay on that edge. That 
does look like it's got a bit of a gap though, doesn't it? Not sure if I like that or not. I'll have to worry about that another time. Come down here. Boom. So we've got that going on down there. Okay. Um, all right. We're done. One hour to to put a fence or a rail that I'm not 100% happy about to figure out about that. These dimensions are always going to be a while until I can get that, and I just need a solid end here, don't I? Well, yeah, maybe a perfectionist, but 